Hey party people, it's Lex from pdq.com. I'm going to take you through importing packages in PDQ Deploy. Let me set the stage. Let's say I was working at a different site. I built a custom reader DC package and you know you needed that. So what I did was I exported it, which is in another video. Uh, I got the install uh, packages together and sent them to you. And now you're gonna import those into Deploy so you can use them in your site. So. First thing you're gonna do is make sure you put those files where you need them. I've got the custom reader DC XML, which is what needs to be imported. And then I have also got all the install packages right here. I put them on my desktop to make it easy for us to actually work with. Now to import, it's super, super tough. Just kidding. All you gotta do is find a spot down here, right click, hit import. Now we need to go find that import XML file, which I happen to drop on the desktop. There it is, custom DC reader XML. And I'm gonna open that up. There it is, it imports. Now, the interesting thing about that is it's importing only the instructions. So if I open this package up, you'll notice there's that warning symbol right there. You've got warning symbol on the install steps. And here, right here is the path it's looking for those install files, which I haven't put in place yet. So Adobe, the repository Adobe Reader DC continuous, boom. So you'll notice right here, I happen to grab the entire directory. There it is, Adobe Reader, DC, continuous, boom, there are the files. So what I need to do is put those in place in the repository. To do that, I'm just gonna open Preferences. So go to Options, Preferences, Repository. I'm just gonna open the, the uh, file browser right there. There it is. At this point, I just need to drop this in here because I already know it's Adobe, again, continuous, you know, the path that was in the install line there. If I go back now, since that's in there, you'll notice the warning symbol is now gone and each of the install steps in this package, right there, it finds the, the, uh, the file. I can go double click on it, there it is. And so now I have an imported file. Um, so remember, two things with this, right? The XML is the instructions. Okay, you still need to provide the, I like to provide the path that it's in. So if you've got a, a path, you know, a series of folders to keep it organized, provide the path and the install files for your, your colleague that you're sending this to. It makes it significantly easier. And then at this point, again, you can just hit Control D or right click and hit deploy once. Add a computer if you want. and you're off to the races. So that's importing a package in a nutshell. Thanks. I'm Lex from PQ.com.